BRCA1 and BRCA2 are the two genes that were identified first and are associated with an inherited risk for breast cancer. The reason that they're named BRCA is because that's a short gnome for breast and cancer. So BR for breast and CA for cancer. And guess what? It's the first gene and the second gene that were identified. This dates back to around 1995 when the reports came out of these genes. And we've known about BRCA1 and 2 almost 20 years now. So we've got a lot of interesting data and information about them. We know that these genes are tumor suppressors. That is, they reduce the risk of cancer ever happening in their normal form. But when there's a mutation, that tumor suppression ability is taken away, and therefore the risk for cancer can increase. We also know there's very specific cancers that are associated with BRCA1 and BRCA2. Even though they are the so-called breast cancer genes, they really are associated with several other types of cancers. For example, ovarian cancer is another big risk factor for mutation carriers of BRCA1 and 2, as well as male breast cancer, prostate cancer, so issues for the men to think about. And um, we're also seeing increased risk of melanoma and pancreatic cancer. So there's a whole group of cancers associated with BRCA1 and BRCA2. And based on the risk levels for each of those cancers and the abilities to do something about it, as I mentioned before, there's also... Um, very clear clinical guidelines. How do we use that information about BRCA1 and 2 to reduce a person's risk of ever getting cancer or at least reduce the risk of dying from that cancer by early detection? Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on. 